Fisher, the tech guy, and we're back for part two in the, in the series of unboxings for my new computer, The Budget Beast. And today, we have the biggest part by far, the case. For the case, I got the Rosewill Redbone USB 2.0 version from Newegg for $34.99 with free shipping. I got the 2.0 version instead of the 3.0 version because that's all my motherboard supports. You do have to make some sacrifices when you're building a budget computer. All I've done is cut the box. I haven't even looked inside. So I'm going to set this down here and we'll see what's inside. There's some packing stuff. Very interesting. And then we have the case. There's also some packing stuff, but that's not necessary. Here's the scissors. Go ahead and cut that guy. Okay, and we'll see what this is like. Ripping it off. On the back here, there seems to be some instructions for installing drives and connecting I.O. ports. Very interesting. We'll see if we need this. Uh, let's pick this up out of its wrapping. And the nice case, as you see, it's black, made of metal. The only plastic parts on here is this, these little red things. It's got a cool black front, a little bit of plastic there covering the buttons. That's good. And it appears there's a power button, an eSATA port, two USB ports. Uh, that looks like the reset button, I guess. The headphone jack and the microphone jack. So that's all very interesting. Let's take off these screws here. This should only take a second. They are thumb screws. You can also use a Phillips head screwdriver if you have a need for speed. Let's go ahead and walk inside this here and have a look inside. Inside, it's a decent sized case. Comes with one fan in the back here. I don't know if you can see that very well. And over here, there is a fan in the front somewhere, I think. There's some screws and mounting brackets and interesting stuff like that, as well as cabling for various stuff. And, and of course, the drive bays. Yeah, see, there's the front fan. You can not really see it that well, but, you know. And of course, the back cover also comes off, and you can do lots of cool cable management stuff. I think it'll be a pretty good case and for $34.99 it's one of the cheapest on the market. So that's all for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below and we'll see you next time.